Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I'm Crypto Kip, and today we got a couple things we got to start talking about. Banks are launching digital wallets, yes, but Crowcoin is breaking out today. Crypto.com's looking strong right now, though it is, we have to note this, guys, it is currently at rank number 33, so it's dropping in rank, but uh, I do believe it could be a top 10 coin. There's a lot of reasons why. Uh, we're going to cover some of that in this video, but we got to take a peek at these markets, see what's going on with Crypto.com coins, see what's going on with Tonic and the crypto markets as a whole. Uh, $1 trillion market cap for crypto markets looking strong. So let's get into it, guys. If you like that content, smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel. We're bringing five videos to you guys every single day. And when we hit 10,000 subscribers on the channel, we're giving away $1,000 worth of Bitcoin to one lucky subscriber, and we cannot wait to do it. So let's get into it, guys. Look at the global market cap right now. This is the last seven days, guys. And over the last day, we had a little bit of a retracement and some fear. This was during our live stream last night, actually. And then today, boom, right now, a little bit of a rocket ship up. Uh, just looking at the day, uh, we had a really big boost up, which was great to see. And we basically hit... Uh, some resistance here that we've been seeing over the last three months. We basically hit this and actually slightly broke above it. So I wouldn't be surprised, guys, to see uh, a potential slight breakout actually coming here soon, uh, given that we kind of touched this level. Uh, so be on the lookout for that as this weekend comes up. Uh, so check that out. And let's look at Crowcoin, which is looking really good above eight cents again. Uh, fantastic to see. And if you look at the last day or so, uh, let's go back to the hourly charts here. Looking at the entire day, uh, we we kind of came down here uh, yesterday, and then boom, today has been a bullish move up. Big move, big move, tried to break resistance, and a slight rejection. I would not be surprised to see us continue upward, though. Uh, Bitcoin looking like it wants to break out. Again, we are getting a uh, bullish sentiment probably leading up to the Fed announcing during the FOMC meetings whether they're going to raise the rates. Are they going to raise it by 0.25% or 0.5%? Uh, you know, I think it's going to probably end up being 0.25. And if it is that, then it would be bullish. But if it is 0.5, we might have a little more of a sell-off on the announcement. Uh, and then I still think 2023 is bullish. Uh, we're leading into a bull run, guys, because of the Bitcoin happening that's coming. Uh, it's inevitable. Want to note this, though, for Crowcoin. You got to look at the overall market cap, guys. Crowcoin is dropping in rank. It was in the top uh, 30. Now it's ranked number 33, so that's dropping. But that's because there's some other big gainers here that have really been making a come up lately. ApeCoin being one of them. Near Protocol being some of them. Uh, I think Kronos is waiting for its day in the sun because when Kronos moves, it moves big. And we have seen that in the past. I mean, if you look back at the previous November, man, this move was insane from October 22nd to uh, just one month later on a November 23rd. It went up like 60 cents, which is actually incredible. And it almost hit a dollar. Looking for uh, a dollar and probably even two dollars in the next bull run. I put out a poll uh, on the YouTube channel for us earlier today. You know, a lot of people think two dollar crows happening. I certainly do. I think two to five dollar crows certainly achievable. And check out some of our other videos on some of the big price predictions for that we do on the channel. But we'll keep those coming at you as well. Tonic is looking great. This is the last seven days, just a steady move up. And if you look at the last month, this has been an absolutely massive gain. If you look at the last three months, we're breaking out. I would argue that we're in price discovery mood. Uh, this is one of the largest DEXs, uh, largest uh, borrowing and lending protocols on Kronos. It is the number one, actually. So uh, don't miss this out miss out on this, guys. It's only got a $25 million market cap. I think this could easily 10x to $250 million and probably maybe even hit a billion, which would be up to a 40x uh, gain for this coin. So be on the lookout for that, guys. I'm taking all my interest in Crow. I'm putting it in here. We talked about that. Uh, actually in a collab I did with Gold Pony Crypto the other day. Uh, so we're trying to do more of that as well. But one story I want to share with you guys, very bullish for crypto and institutional investors getting into the folds of crypto. The EU, the European Union, voted to allow banks to hold 2% of their capital in Bitcoin and crypto. Now, will they do it? We'll have to see. But this is a big deal. Uh, very, very exciting to see. And banks hold the majority of the money on Earth. And so we're going to want to see them get into crypto 
And uh, this is a big story, bringing that in the picture. And on top of that, Bank of America, JP Morgan, and Wells Fargo collaborate to launch a digital wallet. But it's not what you think. This is not a crypto wallet. Now, I, I would bet anything. And who knows? I mean, not financial advice, but I would say in the future, crypto is something they will not be able to ignore. If they make this digital wallet, which is trying to just be for their coins, right, for their fake U.S. dollars that they have in their bank, right, um, I think that they are not going to at first offer crypto. But in the end, uh, these banks will end up offering crypto custodial services one day. I feel very confident about that. It's only a matter of time. And if they don't, um, you know, eat or be eaten is kind of how it is, right? You either get in the game of crypto or you will miss out. And uh, there will be a new Bank of America, a new JP Morgan in the future. So uh, they're, they're getting involved with digital assets, but it's not like you think. But uh, hey, European Union, let's see what these banks end up doing. Do they actually allocate 2% of their capital into Bitcoin and crypto? Uh, you think about how much money is in the European Union banks. It's billions upon billions upon billions, if not trillions of dollars, probably trillions of dollars. If 2% of that flows in, you got a really big move coming for, for Bitcoin and crypto. So very good to see, guys. Only a trillion dollar market cap. If $200 billion comes into crypto, that's a 20% move for crypto. And that's like, you see that just in a regular bull market, let alone if banks get involved. So looking out for that, guys, feeling pretty good. And uh, just want to share this with you guys too. DCG owned crypto exchange Luno, acts as 35% of staff. How many of these articles we've seen about layoffs? Uh, we're not worried about layoffs. Why? Because it ain't just in the crypto space, guys. Matter of fact, Google CEO has to defend job cuts in an animated town hall. They laid off, guys. They laid off 12,000 of their workers, guys, roughly 6% of the full-time workforce. Everybody's going through it, guys. It's not just crypto firms. So the prices are moving up today. We're feeling bullish, guys. We're looking pretty good, and we're getting excited for institutional crypto adoption. Banks getting into crypto, I think it's coming sooner than later, guys. Just look out for it in this next bull run. That's really all I got. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel, guys. We are almost at 7,000 subscribers when we hit 10k subs we're giving away a thousand dollars worth of bitcoin and at 25 000 subscribers on the channel we are giving away this loaded lion uh so we're very much excited for that and each uh month you're a member of our channel you get an additional 10 entries to this giveaway uh and we'll have more perks coming for members as well as the private discord for the members that do join us as a crypto report member on the channel that's all I got. I'm Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Don't forget to smash up the like button, guys. Subscribe to the channel. And as always, you've got to remember to DCA HODL. And of course, we will see you in the next one. Thank you so much, everybody. Live stream tomorrow night, 5.30 Central Standard Time, PM. Uh, make sure you tune in. That's all I got. Peace, guys. Have a great night. Two videos for you right here. Peace.